Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. This story is written for Upper Intermediate English Learners. Ready? Let's get started. B2 English Story The Daydreamer I live in a world of daydreams and wishes, of wanting to be elsewhere, of wanting something that is not yet mine, but will be. I love to get lost in music and explore interesting characters by reading unusual stories. I find this to be my favourite sort of escapism. I must say that my life is not terrible. I just love to daydream and be creative. I try to see the positives in life. I try to push myself out of my safe boundaries and into the open. I enjoy change and trying new things. I don't like to do the same thing all the time. Daydreaming encourages me to think of new things to pursue. What is a life doing the same day in, day out? Of course, some people enjoy this. Some people relish in this. Some people can't see their life being any other way. That's what makes everyone unique. We do not all want to live the same way. And, I suppose, the fact that we are all different is what makes the world go round. I know people who have such a permanent routine that if something were to change, they would be incredibly upset. These people are the type of people who do their washing on a Monday, their food shop on a Tuesday, their cleaning on a Wednesday, and so on. I can't imagine anything worse than knowing exactly what I was going to be doing and when. But, of course, for some people, routine makes them happy. Routine gives their life structure and space to breathe. Sometimes I wish I could be more like this, but I don't know what I want to do tomorrow. Never mind in six weeks' time. For me, variety is the spice of life. As far as we know, we only have one chance at this life, so we really need to try and make the most of it. Of course, sometimes that is easier said than done. The path of our life, no matter how positive we are, can very much depend on the family we were born into, the money we are surrounded by, and where we are in the world. For example, if you are born into royalty, you already have a semi-set plan for life. If you are an heir to the throne, that is what you are destined to do. Unless, of course, you decide to abdicate the throne. If you are born into a wealthy family, you might have the privilege of being able to learn instruments, play expensive sports and be surrounded by people of influence. Of course, sometimes this can be a downside and not everyone wants to use nepotism to get them to where they want to be, but it can definitely help. You might be born into a family of doctors and lawyers and don't want to follow the family path at all. I should imagine that could be rather trapping. What if you want to be an artist or a teacher or perhaps you want to be something completely different, like a farmer? This doesn't always sit well with some families as they want to see their children in so-called well-respected jobs. In my eyes, all jobs should be respected, no matter what they are. Sometimes, it's not about what your family do, 
or how much money they have, but where you are in the world. Sometimes our home country doesn't offer the sort of life we are seeking, but I always believe that if we work hard, we can end up where we want to be. It might take time and effort, but you can get there. For example, perhaps you live in India but have dreams of living in Los Angeles. Or maybe you live in rural Scotland and want to own a vineyard in Italy. Whatever it is, with the right amount of effort, research and work, you could get there. This is where daydreaming helps me. I see it as a form of visualisation. I imagine where I want to be and how I can get there. Some people call it manifestation, but whatever it's called, having positive thoughts can really help change my mood. I know some people say I should live in the moment a little more, and by daydreaming, I am not experiencing what is happening now. I don't think this is necessarily the case. I am able to be present, and then, in moments of peace and quiet, I enjoy relishing my daydreams. The best thing about daydreaming is that I can take myself anywhere. I could be the Italian vineyard owner, or on stage at a concert, or travelling the world in my own private jet. I can be and do whatever I want in my daydreams. Daydreaming helps me to remain positive, even when times can be tough. Some people might play an instrument, or go for a run, or write a poem to make them feel better, but I always daydream. I always try to see the positives in life, and I encourage my friends whenever I can. Recently, a friend of mine got a place on a further education course in Spain. She was desperate to go, but she couldn't afford her accommodation costs. So, instead of giving up, we spent hours conducting research into bursaries and grants. She found some funding schemes she was eligible for, and now she has enough money to cover her expenses. For me, it's all about making those daydreams come true. Of course, people tell me I have my head in the clouds and that I'm living in a make-believe world of fairies and goblins. But the reality is, I'm not. I'd rather look on the bright side of life rather than feeling downtrodden and sad. Instead, I try to pursue my dream career and I work hard. It always upsets me when I see or talk to people who are defeated. It's an easy position to be in. I felt defeated sometimes too. But we have to learn to get back up on the horse again. I always try to think that if something I want doesn't come to fruition, then it isn't meant to be. The universe has other plans in store for me. I know sometimes people can get frustrated with me being optimistic and a so-called daydreamer. If I didn't daydream, I would be in a deeply sorry state, and no one wants that. I suppose people get frustrated because sometimes I'm not fully present in the moment. I am too busy dreaming about something else. You might be wondering what my daydreams consist of. I daydream about the sort of life I want. I daydream about my dream home, my dream job, my family, the weather and the holidays I'd like to take. I am working towards these dreams, slowly but surely. Are you a daydreamer? 
If so, what do you daydream about? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.